Hello and welcome. In this video we will cover the fixture mode feature of Vectorworks Spotlight. The ability to change fixture modes in Spotlight allows users to quickly and easily switch a fixture to a different mode, automatically updating the num channels field for patching and reports. In addition to the benefits to your Spotlight drawings, Vision requires the correct fixture mode and patch to have control over your lighting device in the previous stage. To illustrate this, I have placed an Ayrton Magic Panel R. This fixture has three DMX control modes, an 18 channel standard mode, 20 channel standard with 16 bit pan and tilt, and 116 channel extended mode for individual emitter control. For previous purposes, we have also added emissive versions for each mode. Emissive fixtures do not output beams in vision. The face lights up as expected, but the fixture does not cast out a beam. This can be very helpful in complex scenes where every bit of performance matters, or when the light is just being used as eye candy. Changing fixture modes on a lighting device is as simple as clicking the fixture mode dropdown and selecting the new mode you wish to use. Also possible in this dropdown is the ability to browse for a fixture mode by selecting Other. This can be very helpful for those who use custom lighting device symbols as they unlike Vectorworks symbols, will not have pre-populated list of modes to choose from. If working with vision, all fixtures must have modes assigned. To find a fixture mode, change the mode to Other, and a Vision Fixtures dialog will appear. It's recommended to browse by manufacturer as there are thousands of fixture types and modes. As you look through the lists of fixture modes under each manufacturer, you will notice that some modes list the number of channels, but some will have the name of the mode if it was available when our content team built the fixture. Things like enhanced, 16-bit, standard, extended, etc. Simply select the fixture mode you want, then click OK. The fixture mode field will update and the num channels field will update to reflect the change as well. In this example, I've changed it to a Chauvet color band H918 channel, and the number channels field has updated to 18.